Welcome, welcome to Wits End. Uh, what an amazing crowd here we have today. Uh, before we get started, I'd like to thank everyone for being here, um, especially Todd, the guy who uh, set up this class for 9.30 in the morning because I feel great right now. But seriously, give it up for Todd. Uh, he drives an hour to get here, so we should be grateful. So uh, let's, let's all give him a round of applause. He, he deserves it. He deserves it. You know, speaking of Todd, he did a great job creating the loan pool system known as RefTab, which is something I'd say if people knew how to actually use it. <laughs> for all you morons out there who don't know what RefTab is, <laughs> it's a website for, that the school uses to rent out video and audio equipment to students. What you probably didn't know is that you can set up tutoring services off of RefTab, although RefTab only offers tutoring for film and audio classes, so all you gen ed nerds need to go through the library. I promise you don't want Todd teaching you math. <laughs> Oh. Oh, wow. Is that, is that live? Ooh. Oh, boy. Anyway, um, if you're like me and you got that dog in you, <coughs> the Veterinarians Club might be something you'd like. Damn, this Although, is dark. I was disappointed when I found out I couldn't just show up and pet animals. They kicked me out in under a week. But seriously, it's a great thing that they do over there. I have a lot of respect for the doctors and veterinarians out there. You know who I don't have respect for? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep, there he is, Todd. I'm sorry. But, yeah. Um, but seriously, we love Todd here. That was my last Todd joke. But uh, Before we go to break, I wanted to reach out to all you smart cookies out there, like me. Pi Theta Kappa. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why is this guy talking about a frat group right now? But no. <laughs> Pi Theta Kappa is the largest international honor society for two-year colleges. It prides itself on fellowship, leadership, service, and scholarship. To be honest, I'm kind of surprised I haven't been invited yet. Loser. <laughs> but uh, anyway, when we come back, we'll be announcing some of the lame events happening on campus. So stay tuned. Pursue your education at Middlesex Community College. MXCC has flexible options to build a personalized schedule with over 70 programs of study offered in Middletown, Meriden, and online. Worried about the financial impact? You will earn higher wages and 97% of students graduate debt-free. Register now for a high-quality, affordable education at a college determined to help you succeed. Visit mxcc.edu today. Welcome back, everyone. Let's talk about some events happening soon on campus. For all you kindergartners out there who think paper cutting is the new trend, on March 28th, the campus is holding an Art of Paper Cutting event. You know what, let's, let's try this out. Let's. I'm having a blast right now. I wonder if next year they'll be holding a macaroni necklace event. Oh my God, get off Time the management. stage, Meditation, dumbass. mindfulness. Do you suck at all these things? Yes. I'm sure you do. This workshop will take place on April 1st. That's right. Everybody's taking, nobody's taking this event seriously. For the 10 people who actually show up to the open houses, we have an open house on April 17th. Now, are you a student and you struggle with sleeping? Yes. If you need a nice nine hour uninterrupted nap, I recommend coming to the 10th Academic Convenium. This nine hour snooze fest of wonderful and impressive student presentations. When we come back, we're gonna sit down with Rick Erickson. I will see you then. Check out the Arts and Media Festival happening May 17th at 6 p.m. in Chapman Hall. There will be live music, food, and projects from our very own Middlesex students.
see you there. Welcome back, everyone. As I said earlier, we have a special guest coming in today. So let's all give a round of applause to Mr. Rick Erickson. How you doing, Rick? How you doing? Good, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Wow. So, uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you for coming here today. No problem. This is um, this is a, quite a spectacle. Yeah. Well, I'm happy you like it. Um, so obviously, uh, you're in charge of the capstone classes here. I well, I don't yeah. charge is a good word, but yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm I'm in involved in that. I'm you know, you know instructor of that class. <laughs> so um, so that also means that you you run the arts and media festival for the, the end of the year. I well, I think I'm you know I'm a I'm maybe I I don't know run is a word I don't know if I choose run, but yeah, I'm deeply involved with the arts and media festival, which okay. is. Which is at the end of the year. It's it's actually you know it's coming up. It's moving up. Yeah. May, I mean, I had that promo thing. What May seventeenth at six. And that's the, you'd think I would know that. Like it's that fully way. student produced. Correct? It is. So. Fu uh, it is fully student produced for the most part. Yeah, it is a, an event that uh, basically showcases you know the arts, the media, the content that uh, the students produce throughout. Uh, throughout the year, both semesters, you know, actually including the summer, but uh, yeah, it is, so it is really a, basically a festival, that's what, you know, uh, showcasing the student art and uh, media. So, that's a little more than that, but. So how long have you been doing that? <laughs> well, that, I, I didn't well. think that was on the question sheet, that you're <laughs> going to age me like that. Uh, well, that's tricky, which, you know, because it really, the arts and media festivals, like, it's, it's like two things. It, it, it was something before the Arts and Media Festival. I believe it was in 2004 we kicked oh, wow. off the Arts and Media Festival. So that makes 20 years. This yeah, is the 20th, the 20th year. 20th yeah, it's the 20th year. Wow. It, it actually, you know, it was, it's funny. Before that, I mean, before that, it was the uh, Broadcast Communications Awards, which is... Okay. Super dry sounding. I'm like you were talking. Yeah, no. I mean, uh, you, I mean, you Not really? No, you don't think so. You don't think you, that would be a snooze fest? No, yeah, that you yeah. Mention. It's a good thing you changed the name because we yeah. would that would definitely be on the show. Although you know that's kind of how we roll at Middlesex. You know, yeah. so the the broadcast the the BC awards we called it. Uh, you know, yeah, it was dry sounding, but man, it was a blast. It was a lot of fun. It was like uh, you know, it was an award show. So we you know we would. We would show basically. So we would screen obviously the videos and, and, and that sort of stuff. Yeah. But but we had you know we had awards and we would do runner ups. We would announce and you'd come up and win your little Oscar Golden Globe. So the BC yeah. awards uh, morphed at some point. I guess the, I guess that was two thousand and three or four. We uh, you know I remember actually back then saying why why are we not making this a bigger thing? Why aren't we including? You know, there's a lot of good art coming out of the the actual, you know, just and, the, the fine art side of the house. Yeah, and, I, and just other places. I mean, theater, acting, uh, music. I mean, we just had all this stuff going on, and it felt like it was kind of not being highlighted and showcased. So that's kind of the birth, the birth of the Arts and Media Festival, 2004. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah anyway. Uh, Let's talk about the capstone class, because actually I wanted, oh, to, I right, wanted to bring this right. up to all the viewers. Um, fun fact, I am actually in Rick's capstone class yes, you this are. year. And, yeah. um, you know, I, I don't really want to bring it up, but you actually said that I had the, uh, the best short form project that you've ever seen in the last 20 years. Isn't that right? I, I, I did? Really? Wait, like, wait, I, I, yeah. I, don't, I don't quite remember that, but no. I, well, when... I, what well, exactly was the quote? I mean, what, was the, what did I say? Specifically, you said that my project was unrivaled and that I'm like a once in a generation. I'm about to think about yeah. that, man. Okay, well, I we can just. Have to think about that. We can just. Yeah, you know, just. We don't have to talk about that. We're good. About no, that. yeah, we, okay. we, actually, we're done here. We're done here. <laughs>